Coogan Cassius Eiffel CB at Trinity House in Tower Hill for the announcement. James De Gale was signed for match with Sport Fight on May the 31st against Brandon Gonzalez, an IBF title eliminator, to fight uh, the winner of Frotch and Grubbs. How are you, James, first of all? You've done a lot of interviews today, I know. It's about the 50th time I'm about to re repeat all of my answers to someone's questions. It's driving me mad. But no, on a better note, I'm fantastic. <laughs> I'm great. I am re-energised. I'm just feeling, you know that feeling there? Well, I don't think you'd feel it. You know that feeling there when you know what's going to happen and what's planned out and the fights and the venues and what's going down? That feeling, that excitement feeling. I'm excited. I'm, yeah, I'm excited. I'm trying to think another word. Let me think another word. I'm excited. Come on, Coops, help me. I'm excited. I'm static. Wow. Yeah, they that? Yeah, I need another one. I'm another one. Before you start, I'm another one. I can't think of one. Come on. All right, go. Um, let's just touch on this quickly. Um, last 18 months, you've been fighting on Channel 5. Are you slightly sad to have ended your uh, relationship with uh, Channel 5 and McKennessy? No, what am I, what? Are you slightly sad by no, no, leaving? No, 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 no. No, because uh, basically, the last year or so, I don't like saying it, but I've been depressed. I've, I've been not, I've been very unhappy. Uh, trying to sleep at night, constantly thinking about what's my next move, what, like, like where am I going to be boxing, who's going to be laughing at me, where, like what, like, what PU am I going to be boxing in, what's my next move, who am I going to be fighting. Uh, and I wasn't happy training, I wasn't happy training. There was even a stage last November time, when I was doing the numbers of how much money I've got, I was thinking, well, I've got two, well, I've got two properties, I've got ice, I've got a pension. I wonder if I can live off that and do a bit of personal training. Oh, I'll be sweet, I can live a good life. I was honestly thinking like that. And my mum went, you stupid bastard, what are you on about? I was like, mum, oh, this is just long, mate. This is like, and I was depressed. I was depressed, I hate saying it, but I'm lucky that I've got a, that I've got a good family, I've got a good team, and they, and, they, and they kept me on the right track. But I can see how fighters come off the track, come off their path, and get disillusioned with the game, and, uh, and destroy their careers and damage their careers, I really can. Okay, moving forward now, uh, talk to me about the decision first to join Eddie Hearn and Metrum. Why? Uh, Ambrose Mendes said in the press conference that you know every major promoter in the world have been in touch. Everyone, even I was shocked. Everyone from manager to promoters, uh, Slack so gave me an extra boost as well to think, boy, I'm a free agent, everyone wants me. And I could have went anywhere, but this made the most sense. This made the most sense. And uh, this is where it's at. Sky Sports, Eddie Hearn, Team Chunky. We're doing it big and letting the small fall under it. You like that one, isn't it? But it's true, though. We are doing it big and we're letting the small fall under it, Cooks, on a serious note. And I just feel, I just feel, as I say, re-energised. I feel I've got that feeling back. I've got that feeling back. You had two options um, regarding your the future of you, um, the WBC, you had a, a shot there at some point against yeah. Speaker. Uh, here you've got a final eliminator against mm -hmm. Brandon Rios, uh, Brandon Rios, Brandon Gonzalez, excuse me. Yeah. Um, talk to me how um, how close you were, were you close to uh, the WBC? Well, basically, let's be real, the WBC have messed me about a bit, haven't they? They've messed me about a bit. Who defended the silver title three times? Do you know what I'm saying? So, they made me mandatory eventually, but B car has got a voluntary before he has to fight his mandatory. So I could be fighting B car the end of this year or beginning of next year because they haven't they haven't even announced Beaker's next fight. He's, vol he's like he's voluntary, and I've heard he's coming over here to watch the fight and all madness. And uh, the IBF have given me the straight route. You box in a final eliminate on the thirty first. You box winner of Frotcher Groves in 120 days. Bosh, take that. What way to go? Box for a world title next year. Boxing big fights, big arenas. Now, right now. Talk to me about the challenge of Brandon Gonzalez. Uh, unbeaten American. Um, how much do you know about him? I've seen quite a bit of him. He's a good fighter. I can't overlook this guy. He's young. 
he's unbeaten, he's fresh, he trains with Ward and Khan. So that must give him the extra boost. Like, this guy's a good fighter, probably the, the hardest opponent I've boxed in my career so far. Do your research about him, Coop, he's good, a good fighter, but me injury free, me with a 10 week camp, which I have, because I've been training for the past four weeks, it's seven weeks to go, 11 weeks, I'm gonna be a beast come fight night. I'm gonna be a beast and uh, I'm looking, as I say, the, the bigger of occasion, the better I fight, the better of opposition, the better I get. So I'm just looking forward to it and I wanna put in a performance, I really do. May 31st was already an interesting night, a special night for British boxing that's been made even more interesting with uh, the addition of this fight now. Froch v Groves, and we've spoke about this time and time before, but now you you know your route, you know that you win this fight, you fight the winner of them. Who do you want to win that fight? I don't give a monkey who wins. That's when I see it. All I want is to box for a world title. And they're standing in the way. I've got two fighters standing in the way of that world title. Of me making history, becoming the first Olympic on my list to win that world title, Googs. And uh, I'm not fast to wins, man, but... Who do you think will win it? I don't know, it's a 50-50, I can't even pick, I swear to God. Uh, going by the last fight, a lot of people were going with Groves. But I don't, I hope, I hope Froch took him lightly, because if he didn't, he's in trouble. Do you know what I'm saying? I really do hope he did. Uh, I just think Froch has been, I think people are making Froch out, I mean Groves to be a lot better than he is. Than he is. He's a good fighter, of course he is, let's be, let's, like, let's be real, but just because they, because he knocked down Froch and was getting the better of Froch for six rounds. They made him out to be like pound for pound in top five. I'm not too sure about that one, but boy. James, where do you think your profile's been in the last 18 months? How did you book that? Considering you have, fought, you, have, you have fought on terrestrial TV I've in the last six fights. A million plus viewers. Yeah. But profile wise, I've been down there. Let's be in the boxing world, world and all that. I've been, I've been, I've been down there. I've been fighting, been earning money, but no one really knows. No one, no one, like James Jim's son said that the little old woman next door to him said, "Oh, I watched oh, uh, James the other day. Where I were, he was good. Where I were, but then went round his house a couple hours later." And his boys didn't know I boxed. His boys didn't know I boxed. So it's weird. I think that uh, different people watch on Channel 5. It's a different audience. But uh, profile-wise, I'm down there. Come on, let's be real. So is it, if that's what you believe, you're hoping now Sky and Matchroom are going are gonna to change that, in your opinion? They will. Mm. They will. Just look at their... Look, look at all their fighters. Look at their top fighters, their... Look at all their fighters. Their profiles are good. It's because Sky Sports, the biggest, is the biggest pla is the biggest platform and the best and the best channel for boxing around. Like just the build up to the fights. They've got a magazine show ringside. They've got Sky Sports News. They pump it that way, and uh, it's good. It's good. It's a massive platform. Just finally, can you tell us any information about the deal you've got with Metrum, as in how long it is or anything? Or are you allowed to disclose any of that? I'm not too sure if I'm allowed to say. All right. You ask Ambrose. Why don't you have an interview with Ambrose and he'll tell you all the goss? Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, if you're in doubt, don't say it. No, I don't no, cool. get myself in trouble. The past six years I've been a professional. The amount of times that I've got myself in trouble and whatever is stupid. So now I'm very careful what I say. It's All right, well, listen, it's a new chapter in your life. Um, you know, we'll be 100%. there regardless of where you are. Cookie's always there, I know. I'm there. Yeah, yeah, I know. May 31st, yeah. though, this is. May 31st, Team Chunky, Sky Sports, Match Room. We're doing it big and letting the f small fall under it. The future's fright, yeah? Trust me, the future's chunky.